You know, our investing habits, they can differ according to all kinds of different things. Life experiences, our core beliefs, and also this, this might surprise you, our ethnic background. That's right. A study by the investor research firm Spectrum Group did some research on the attitudes and habits of America's ethnic investors. That's Hispanics, Asians, and African Americans. Kathy McBreen is the president of Spectrum's Millionaire Corner. That's sort of the uh, uh, retail consumer side of what Spectrum does. Well, what was the aim of this? Why did you... Uh, figure there were going to be differences among ethnic groups. You know, it was sort of a feeling that we had based on the res research that we do all the time that perhaps some of the ethnicities actually had an influence on in how people were making decisions. Well, that was borne out by the findings. It was. Tell me what was the most surprising to you. Um, a few things were interesting. I don't know if they were surprising, but they were really interesting um, or they validated some things we felt. Um, Asian investors, for example, are very likely to do a lot of research on their own before they go to a financial advisor. They're the least likely to want to use a professional financial advisor, and they also are the most likely to feel that they might know more than a financial advisor. Okay, so, and Hispanics? Hispanics are very loyal to their advisors. Like, they take a long time to find one, but once they find someone, they're very loyal, and they're, you know, they really want to spend time with that advisor. And how about the, the African-American investor? So the African-Americans, we find, it's interesting, um, they're more likely to recommend their advisor than anyone else. But the other thing that was interesting about them is they're more likely to have found the advisor because that advisor was trying to sell something to them. So it may have been an advisor that was trying to sell them an insurance policy or somebody who was trying to sell them some unusual fund or something. That's how they formed their relationships. So interesting. Now, you know what is different? I don't suppose you'd look deeply into the why there are these differences, did you? Well, sometimes you can tell by the types of backgrounds and businesses that they're in. So, for example, when we look at the overall, like, occupations. The Hispanics were likely to be business owners, so they wanted somebody who was familiar with their business that they might be able to refer business to and was local. Um, the Asians were more likely to be professionals, doctors, lawyers, and that's consistent with what we see with a lot of other professional investors is that they, they like to think that they know a lot. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, right? And then the um, African Americans were sort of a hodgepodge of different um, occupations. Some were professionals and some not. Kathy, briefly, I can understand why this is valuable to investors or the investing community, but how about to just to the average investor? What can we take away here? I think what you take away from it is you take the best habits of all of these different ethnicities and you apply them to what you're doing yourself. So. It makes sense to be able to do a lot of your own investment research on your own. It makes sense to be loyal to an advisor and expect them to reach out to you like the Hispanics do. So, and to, to be comfortable enough to recommend them like the African Americans. All right. Excellent takeaway, in fact. Kathy McBreen from uh, Millionaire Corner, thanks. Thanks.